Hello, everybody, um, and welcome to this beautiful, sunshiny Friday. Um, I thought I would record a little bit of my update this week. I have put uh, most of it on uh, my website, the principal's website, but I haven't created a video in a while and thought I would do so today, and uh, just a, a little one. I didn't want to do anything too long um, because I know how it is. Uh, if you feel as though you have to watch a long video, you might not watch the whole thing. So here we are, end of week eight. Can you believe it? Eight weeks uh, we've been doing online learning, but things are really uh, rolling along great. I think people have established routines. Uh, I've sent surveys out to students and they are also uh, agreeing that they have a routine for the most part. They have a routine at home and are following that. So that's great. I wanted to share with you just a little bit of uh, some wonderful things that have come out of this online learning. I know Parents have asked, um, you know, are we receiving the same curriculum or, you know, are the students getting what they would have normally got during this time of year at school? And I can say, yes, uh, they are getting the curriculum that we would have had this time of year. Uh, granted, some things have been modified a little bit for online learning, we had to. Um, but you, they are getting uh, the curriculum. But you know what else they're getting, which um, I hadn't thought about until the other day? Students have learned so much, right down to our kindergarten and first graders, how to use technology in a way that we never imagined would happen. Uh, students from first grade on are logging into their own emails. They're learning how to troubleshoot. Uh, there was an example from second grade that something uh, happened to the teacher's computer and all the kids were problem solving and giving ideas on how to fix it. I was in a fourth grade class today. Same thing happened. The sound on a student's computer wasn't working and all the kids were involved trying to solve the problem and telling uh, the student what, what he should do in order to fix it. Our students have also, uh, one other thing, uh, very important, have become more responsible for their learning. Yes, we still have uh, a little ways to go with some students. I know that it's difficult for them, but for the most part, kids are becoming more responsible. They're taking charge of their learning. And this is what we want. This is what we hope for um, with kids. So one of the great things is if you, if you think that we're not providing Writing the curriculum. Think about the learning that your, your child is getting as well through uh, this online platform and how they're learning how to problem solve. We, we want that. And sometimes we find it hard to, to teach that or have examples of that. And online learning has naturally brought that home to us. So we are so proud of the students and how they're doing. Um, so we're looking at all of these things as wonderful positives as we work through this um, incredible time in our history. And we will get through this. And I hate to sound like a broken record, but we are in this together. Uh, there's a couple events coming up, um, the eighth grade uh, moving up ceremony, the fifth grade moving up ceremony. We're, we're starting to work on those and we will keep you informed for those families who are involved. Um, one of my concerns right now is that we need students attending their classes and doing their work. Um, because uh, we may need to consider um, not no involvement in these wonderful events, but I hope that won't be the case. So please check on your children, make sure they're doing their classes, they're getting their work done, especially in middle school. Um, we, we need to have some of those kids involved. So please talk to them. This is an important time, and I know it's hard for some of those middle schoolers to roll out of bed in the morning, um, but if they can get up and take part in their classes, that would be great. So we need your help parents with that at home. 
So please have a wonderful weekend. Get out and do some fun things as a family. Also, um, the update is on my uh, principal newsletter, and I hope you enjoy that. And thank you so much. I can't thank you enough for uh, helping uh, at home with learning and being a partner with us in your child's education. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon.